CBS News political analyst John Dickerson joins us now from Columbus, Ohio, to talk more about this. John, good morning. Good morning, Maggie. O'Donnell's critics, some of whom are members of her own party, are really taking her to task over these old clips. How damaging do you think they'll be to her campaign? Well, we're in a very weird place in this Senate uh, race, talking about issues we certainly weren't expecting to. And that's the problem, is it's not just one of these clips. They're coming out one after another. And it's, if nothing else, it's a distraction. And it, it's a barrier between her and trying to tell voters what she actually believes. And in Delaware, a blue state, she's going to have to convince independent voters outside of the Tea Party group that has already elected her. And so this is going to give them some questions about her. Does she have to answer those questions, or can she, as she did this weekend, just make light of it? Carl Rowe, for one, says that this raises serious questions about her character, and she has to address these seriously. Well, she seemed to kind of brush this one off pretty well. That's the way these candidates have to do things. The problem is just the tonnage of these clips. And Bill Maher obviously sees an opportunity to promote himself here. And so his self-interest is uh, aligned with essentially taking her down. And so she has to find a way to deal with this, what's going to be or seems to be a kind of a daily set of explosions of old videotape. Well, she could do what Sarah Palin has done and which has worked so beautifully for Sarah Palin, and that is to play media victim. That's right. And the victim uh, card is one that Sarah Palin has played. Uh, Rand Paul has done the same thing. It's a bit of a time-honored technique, and it works with your supporters who are, are apt to believe the things you say. But if you're trying to get to voters in the middle or independents who you have to convince that you have a, another set of ideas, they're not just going to take it at face value that you're a victim and, and rally to your side. And so it might work a little bit, but she still has that big job to convince voters that she can be their senator. John, we saw Sarah Palin this weekend at, at that event in Iowa, where the road to the White House uh, usually begins for a lot of people. But sh she wasn't going the traditional route. She wasn't out there going door to door and shaking voters' hands. Do you think she has time to work that if she wants to be a serious contender in the Iowa caucuses? She, she has time. Sarah Palin at the moment in, the conser in conservative politics makes her own weather. And so she can, uh, she can do as she pleases for the moment in Iowa and if she needs to kind of get an organization together quickly. But of course you can wait too late and candidates who've tried to sort of have these newfangled organizations in Iowa. Fred Thompson tried to do this and it was a dismal failure. You have to actually do it. She can delay doing it, but she will in the end have to do that retail painstaking politics that works in Iowa. And she, she's a lot more popular than Fred Thompson was at the time. So we will see. John Dickerson, thanks so much.